Welcome back Kaiju fans. Today we're going to be talking about some pretty groundbreaking Godzilla King of the Monsters information coming to you straight from Tokyo Comic Con. Now, Godzilla King of the Monsters did have a panel. Director Michael Daughtry went out and talked about the movie. We've had tons of reveals, so let's get right into it. So, first and foremost, we now have full models for all four monsters uh, via the SH Monster Arts figures, so we can see all four kaiju fully lit, fully exposed, something that we did not get from any trailers so far. And things are interesting. Starting out with Godzilla, looks great. I am a fan of the changes here from the 2014 Godzilla. Now that we can fully see everything, which is really just the tail size reduction, which I'm not like crazy about. That's I just doesn't doesn't bother me. But the spines have been changed to almost be a mirror of Gojira 1954. As the director has stated, this was his intention, as the spines of Godzilla are his crown, and he is the king, so he wanted to respect the 54 version. So, Godzilla, the legendary Godzilla, has been updated to reflect this, and now has spines that are very similar to Godzilla in 1954 to respect that. Other than that, the design has mostly been left the same. Small differences, color and everything like that looks exactly the same still. But that is the major change, as you can see in these two pictures that I have here. Next, King Ghidorah. We didn't really see much of King Ghidorah in the trailer, so now with the SH Monster Arts photo here, we can see a full lighted version of Ghidorah and he looks great. He looks very menacing. I am extremely happy with the way this turned out. The heads, necks, the horns, those all look great. The wings are a unique shape. We haven't seen Ghidorah wings that look like this quite yet. They look more like western stylized dragons uh, wings. So those are cool, they look powerful, they look menacing, they look like like large bat wings, um, which is similar to western stylized dragon wings, it's kind of where that inspiration comes from. Uh, body and legs are relatively small um, and muscular, Ghidorah definitely has lost some weight over the years. Um, most of his bulk that usually comes from his torso and his legs is gone. Most of that is now in like the necks, so he's gonna have very powerful necks. Um, leg shape is a little different; looks more dinosaur-like with um, back bending knees, something we see in modern birds and um, something that we've seen in Western stylized dragons too. So that's really that's probably a lot of where that inspiration comes from. Even though he's based off of like traditional, well, I mean, I guess the art for him has been based off of like traditional. Um, Asian style dragons. This is definitely reflecting a lot of Western ideas. So weird hybrid there. I think the design looks great. You guys love to let me know what you think. Um, super golden. I think he looks great. Moving on, we're gonna go to Mothra, which this one is strange. Um, definitely resembles a lot of the leaked concept art that was never really known to be true or not. Large back and front legs don't really, I mean, the middle ones are there, but they're not as prominent. Um, almost like large scythe front legs. Not like Gigan or Pinsir like Mankagiris too much, but kind of on that same track. Very large, like springy back legs. Really strange. Uh, really small head. Which, I, that's so, it's different. And the wings are really elongated, but not as wide as they traditionally are. I don't know, Mothra's design is, it's different. Um, I don't have a problem with it. It's just really strange how different it is. 
Uh, the director said he wanted to preserve Mothra's beauty and elegance, but also give some bizarre and mystical aspects to it too. Uh, I can see where that's transitioning here. It's just such a it's it's a shift. I mean, it's it's recognizable as Mothra, but it's different and it's unique to this franchise or this this monster verse. So I don't have a problem with it. It's just different. I'm sure like a lot of diehard Mothra fans are probably not going to be on board with the design because of this radical shift. Um, but I know I'm okay with it. You guys will have to let me know how you feel. Moving on, we have Rodan, which looks like Rodan. Um, I think this design is cool. It's... I don't know. It, it feels... This picture here of the Monsters makes it feel... Um, Body body style is reminiscent to the Heisei Rodan and Fire Rodan. Um, got that more Pteranodon vibe as opposed to like full humanoid with wings like we saw with the Showa and Millennium versions of Rodan. Uh, smaller body, larger wings as opposed to large body, large wings. Um, you have the dark highlights and tones from like the volcanic aspects, which look good on Rodan. I, I like this Rodan. Um, once I see it in action in the movie, uh, it might turn out to be my favorite design. I still like the Final Wars Rodan a lot right now. Um, I just thought it was cool with all the angular aspects. Um, but this one could definitely change my mind, uh, so we'll have to wait and see on that one. So those were the figures that got revealed and showed us the designs for all the kaiju that we didn't get to see quite yet. Um, obviously no known other titans or kaiju revealed yet for this film. We know there's supposed to be other ones. Probably won't have figures, so we'll have to wait for the movie probably to see a lot of those or an additional trailer. But speaking of trailers, there is a new one that I do have some footage that came from Twitter uh, that got revealed. There is no new footage. Um, it's just kind of a hybrid of everything that's kind of been released so far. The original Millie Bobby Brown talking in the radio promo with Ghidorah attacking in the background, plus the full first trailer that we got. It's kind of just a mashup of those two. But I will play that, and then after that, we have the Godzilla King of the Monsters, Godzilla theme. It's it's a true Godzilla theme. And it's been redone for this film. Um, very opera-esque, very epic style music added on. So we'll play that second. And guys, that sounds incredible. So make sure you stick around, watch the trailer, and listen to that song. And that's going to be it. I'm going to get out of here. So I will catch you all in the next video. Thank you for making it to the end of the video, I appreciate it a lot. As always, liking, commenting, and sharing really helps out my channel. And make sure you're subscribed if you want to stay up to date on the latest kaiju news and crisp reviews.